Hey everybody, Mark here again, and um, I had a really good response the last time I just chatted with you, and so I just want to I want to chat with you again and talk to you not about any specific flute or whistle that I make, but I want to talk to you about how you fit time in to uh, to working on your various passions and hobbies. Uh, a lot of times I have people say, Mark, how do you find so much time to learn so many instruments um, or to uh, pursue the hobbies you have or how did you get into making flutes or all of those things and a lot of times people will say things like, I just don't have time, you know, I'm so busy, I'd love to do that stuff but you know, we all, somebody's got to work for a living and all of that. Well, you know what, I work for a living. I work a full-time job, more than 40 hours a week. I have a lot of things going on. I have four kids. I have a wife. I have two dogs. I have two goats and I have four ducks. I have a lot of stuff going on in my life as well. We all do. But you have to learn to sometimes take the time uh, to do something that you really, really enjoy that you could always be doing something else, but you, but you just say, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set some time aside and I'm going to do this at this moment. When it comes to music and when it comes to flutes, I like to follow the idea that play one of your instruments when they call to you. You know, my instruments are my friends, whether it's my pan flute that you see back there on my desk, whether it's one of the, uh, one, whether it's one of the flutes that I make, or one of my favorite instruments, which is this carbon fiber uh, penny whistle that I purchased from uh, Eric the Flute Maker. Great uh, instrument, by the way. Um, definitely worth getting. Um, or whether it's the cello or whether it's the, um, uh, let's see what else, whether it's the uh, ocarina that I play um, or maybe this uh, newest instrument that I'm learning called the arhu, um, which is a uh, Chinese violin and that's all kinds of, uh, that's all kinds of fun to learn or whether it's something um, you know, some brand new instrument that I want to get my hands on. I don't have time to spend hours and hours a week on those things, and neither do you. But I always try to find time in a week to fit it in. So how do I do that? Well, sometimes, because my job is a little bit more on the self-employed side in, a, in that I'm not working in, a, uh, in an office space environment, this is my office, but most of my job is outside of the office. When I'm here and it's quiet, I might take 10 or 15 minutes at the beginning of the day or in the middle of the day when I'm tired, when other people would be going to get coffee or taking a walk, I grab a flute and I just play around on it a little while. I pick out a song, I grab one of my pentatonic flutes and just play what I'm feeling, just letting the stress float away. When I get home, sometimes I'll take a flute and walk outside. Not right now in the winter time, but ordinarily if it's not winter or if it is seasonable, I'll, I'll go play outside or I'll go in the basement and I'll just spend a little bit of time. Right now I have 15 flutes that I have that I have had special ordered through um, email, not including the Websy, the, uh, Websy, the Etsy store, but just through email that I'm making for people. And you know, I that's a lot of flutes, and I have a full-time job. But I'll I'll go down in the in the uh, workshop at night, and I'll knock out one or two of them at a time. I want to make sure each one of them is something that I could be proud of, that I would be happy to own myself. It doesn't have to be massive amounts of time. Here's what I want you to do: find somebody in your life that you feel like you have great communication with. Get out your cell phone. Right? I don't know where my cell phone is actually. I think, it, oh, here it is. Here's my cell phone, which I just dropped and cracked the screen the other day. Anyway, um, get your cell phone and pull up the call log and pull up the record of that person that you feel like you have great communication with. If you do that, you're going to find out that most times the conversations that you have with people are just brief snippets of conversation. Now there might be that one friend that you text for three hours at midnight or something. But most of the time the people that we communicate with and we feel like we have great communication and a great relationship with, it's a 30 second call, a two minute call, a five minute call is a long phone call. Okay, But it's just little bits of time. The same thing can be true and just as rewarding when it comes to your instruments or your hobbies. Little bits of time here and there, here a little, there a little, and you're going to see yourself progress and it's going to be incredibly rewarding for you personally. So find that instrument that's sitting aside and collecting dust and know you don't have, maybe you don't even have an hour a day to practice. Take 10 minutes and just 
enjoy time learning that instrument. Allow it to speak to you. Allow it to uh, to bring you some enjoyment. And don't don't stress about being, you know, some professional musician. Most of us are never going to be. We just enjoy what we do. So grab your flute, grab your violin, grab your trumpet, grab your saxophone. If it's not music and your passion is something else, little bits of time. Little bits of time with your family, with your kids, with your wife. You don't have to give them hours and hours and hours of your time. Most of them couldn't stand to be with us for hours and hours and hours. Just little bits of time. And you can see progress made and so much enjoyment in your life. That's how I do it. That's how I fit in the time to do the things that I love to do. And that's how I fit in the time to play my instruments and to enjoy them and to see myself progress. I'm not in a competition with anybody else. I do it for my own enjoyment. And I know the same would help you as well. So let me know what you think about that. And I'd love to hear how you find time to do the things that you enjoy without uh, ignoring the other responsibilities in your life. All right. Again, this is Mark with MyWhistleAndFlute.com. Always great to have you watch one of my videos. Thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you. And I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.